more life, more vision, it's motivation Friday. I'm your host, Joe Chege, and I'm back with your weekly dose of motivation. What's good, family? Let's talk about why uh, big things are little and why little things are big. Like, that's something that I was thinking about. And the reason why I decided to use that title is because I was thinking about how sometimes we have great things that we aspire to accomplish. But when we look at the scope of it, it's too big for us to even comprehend. Like we are trying to figure out how am I going to be able to accomplish this huge task or this huge responsibility. Or you have this great vision, but when you look at your financial uh, standing, you're not financially stable to be able to execute it. Not only that, it might be an idea or a dream that might need a lot of hands on, like more people to help you out. But when you're starting, sometimes you're all by yourself and you don't even know how to do it. Or maybe it's just an idea. It's something that you really want to tackle, but you feel overwhelmed because of the size of it, because of how grand or how major it is. Because we already know like when we are dreaming, there's no limit to our dreams. Like we dream big. Uh, And so uh, thinking about it, I I thought of how can you be able to execute something that's grand, something that's huge, given that you don't have... So, like, I remember the Sohili uh, proverb that says, uh, kidogo, kidogo, ujaza kibaba. The real meaning of it is when you're working on something, all you need to do is just work on it bits by bits, and at the end of it all, you'll be able to accomplish the, the bigger picture. And uh, when you think about that, uh, it actually is in line with what I was talking about, like our main topic today, which is why big things are little and little things if are big. you ever find yourself overwhelmed, or if you have this grand idea, this major idea, and you're like, how am I going to be able to accomplish this? Start with what you have. Use whatever is at hand. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you have to start. You just have to start somewhere. And the best thing is to tackle what you can handle all by yourself or with the team that you have. Like start uh, bits by bits. Because if you look at the big picture, then at the end of it all and you want to accomplish all of it at once, it's going to be overwhelming. But if you decide to tackle one portion at a time, Trust me, as time goes by, you're going to be eating away from the chunk. Like you're going to be tackling, you start with one corner and you gradually uh, tackle the rest of it. And as time goes by, uh, whatever was, uh, if, if, an, uh, if, if the goal was this big, you'll be able to tackle it. Why? Because you did not overwhelm yourself by trying to figure out how you're going to solve all of it, but you started with what you're capable of. Like they always say, if you're working on a task and you want to be more efficient, do the things that are easy first, like tackle them and then you, you, you'll you have more time to work on the things that need more time, the things that you need to focus your your, your time and energy to be able to, to fulfill or to be able to solve. So it's just a tactic that you can always use uh, in anything that you're working on. Don't over overwhelm yourself by looking at the big picture use that uh, to give you a perspective of what needs to be done and then break it down into small tasks that you can actually handle and manage based on whatever you have at hand so uh, just a friendly reminder today that big is little and little is big like you don't have to worry about what you have you might not have everything but as long as you have the idea as long as you have the dedication and you're willing to do what's necessary trust me As time goes by, if you show up every day, if you do what is necessary, you're definitely going to be able uh, to solve Ask yourself, how am I going to be able to work on this issue? And how am I going to be able to narrow down to one subject or one issue and solve it first and then move on to the next one instead of trying to do everything at one? That's why we always end up overwhelmed, right? So as always, this is Motivation Friday. The big things are little and the little things are big. It's all a matter of perspective, how you look at it, and that's going to help you solve all the things that you're working on. All right, let's do this.